like they're, they're the oracles of God, but they're not using the right commandments or doctrine. Go ahead. And it says, uh, eight, it says, for laying aside the commandment of the Most High, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. Wow. Uh, nine, and he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of the Most High that you may keep your own tradition. See? And that's that, like, that right there is almost every holiday in America. You know, your Easter, your Christmas, your uh, New Year's, um, your birthdays. All of those things are following after uh, uh, commandments of men, philosophies of men, because Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, has spoken against all those things. So you sit here and you put God's name on it. Well, you're actually not using his real name, but you're trying to use God's title on it to get your point across. But you're leading the flock astray because you're doing nothing but wickedness and having them do wickedness with you, man. So, and because of that, man, uh, and all that laden with iniquity and the sin upon sin, man, it's you leading the flock to the slaughter. And we already know what's going to happen to those pastors that are doing that. Heavenly Father has a special, special destruction for them motherfuckers, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now we can go to, um, now we go to Revelation 18, 18. Revelation 18. It's not good. We can end it off after that. And the reason why we uh, ended off with Revelation 18 is because the whole world, the whole world is caught up in this, in this, in this trick bag of following after uh, false gods and false idols. And mind you, our people are spread to the four corners of the earth. So our people are following after false gods and philosophies all over the world. And this is why the Heavenly Father said, I'm going to stretch out my, um, I'm going to stretch out a strong arm and uh, gather my people from the four corners of the earth. But first, the elect, the, the, this, this, the elect has to be sealed and the, uh, the gospel has to be spread to the four corners of the earth, which I believe it has. But in the spirit, you know, we don't know that point in time. Mm -hmm. But I serve it to uh, uh, Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And, become, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every clean, every unclean, unclean, yep, so like an unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk of wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Now mind you, now mind you, when it, were, when it says fornication, what is fornication? Uh, following after other gods. You know, fornication doesn't actually have to mean, because uh, adultery is seeking with another man. Because well, adultery can be twofold as well. Adultery can be sleeping with another man's wife. And adultery can also be uh, dealing with other gods other than Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then uh, fornication itself. The fornication is the same thing. You literally in bed with the philosophies of Babylon, the philosophies and the, and, and the delicacies of, of Babylon. So all the wickedness of Babylon, which includes Christianity, Islam, all other little different fucking bullshit that that this wicked ass kingdom you know can deliver. Go ahead. And it says. Uh... And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the through the abundance of her delicacies. And it says, uh, I'm gonna skip down to uh, get to the point. Um, five for her sins have reached unto heaven. No, and, you you could you could yeah you know what I'm going because so, this 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 is the no, you could you could kept reading for four yeah I read four this this is the, uh, the the salvation of our people. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins. Con. And this is the, and this is the main point. Come out of her, my people. So stop following after these false doctrines, these false religions, these false gods that, that are dead, that have no life in them, and come back to who you are as a people. You are Hebrew Israelites, you so-called black Latinos, Native Americans. Follow the commandments that your power has bestowed upon you and only you. Mm -hmm. And so you won't get a part of this what? Yep. Um, so come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plague. This is twofold, too. Huh. This, is, this, is the, this is the salvation through the chariots right here huh. as well. And it says, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High remember her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and the double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled, uh, filled, filled to her double. Huh. And this is all, that's all the destruction that's going to come upon this place and upon the world. For all the things that it done against the children of Israel, because all nations had a hand in our destruction. Yeah. All right, all nations had a hand in the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans' destruction all over the world. Chiefly, Esau, the so-called white man, and I would say the Canaanites, and therefore their one. But all these nations are going to get a double, 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 double the whammy. You know, double the punch. All right, keep on. It says uh, seven. 
how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow will give her. For she have, for she say up in her heart, I sit a queen and no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one out one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utter, utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. And that, that, that's the point of it. So stop following after these false gods because you're gonna get you're gonna partake in the destruction that's coming to this place, so-called America, you know, which is uh in spiritually Babylon and Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. And all the, the world is gonna get with this get what's coming to them because they join hands with Babylon, all right? And with that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shana by Shem Rakakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom Akim. Shalom.